the NS ZR350 is the topic of this video. And I must say, this vehicle is one of the least driven of the tuners update. You might see some around the lobbies in the rare occasion with tasteful modifications or just questionable modifications. So you could definitely see like a weird color scheme here and there. And I must say Rockstar made this very realistic. As you can see, the back end from the RX-7, which is what it's based off. The side profile is definitely accurate. And Rockstar did a pretty good job. And this vehicle is from the tuners update, as I just said. So you can lower and raise the vehicle. So it definitely has that going for it. Now, I must say, this is not only the only trick it has. Rockstar did a major favor for this vehicle by putting the rotary engine in the engine bay, not just a typical engine model, as you can see here. And at the time of this recording, this is the only vehicle this engine model belongs to. So that's kind of crazy. Rockstar really stepped it up here for this one. So as you can see, I could lower the vehicle due to the tuner's features. Only tuner vehicles have this feature. And let's see how the engine sounds. Definitely close enough to a rotor for me. And let's see the interior models. The trunk is a bit dark. Who looks in the trunk anyway? The interior model is definitely reused from a bunch of other vehicles but it does fit the characteristics of what you would expect from this vehicle. And I must say, there's a bunch of customization for the interior, just like a Benny's vehicle. So definitely Rockstar put out a well-considered thought on the options that it would give this vehicle. As you can see here, I could change seats, I could change the door cards, I could change the interior. It's pretty much the basics of a Benny's vehicle while having its own separate races and features. So as I must say, this is not necessarily new, but it is definitely well thought out. And I must say Rockstar gave it their all, especially seeing that this vehicle came out when GTA Online was still on Xbox One and PS4. Moving into the giant portion of this video, now Rockstar unfortunately nerfed the whole tuners DLC cars shortly after the, the update was finished with. The CR350 was the most likely the most affected out of this nerf, seeing that it was never the fastest vehicle before the nerf, and then making it slower would definitely not help it. This is answering the question why I think this is the least rated vehicle of the whole tuners update. And I must say, there's two reasons. One, most people do not like how this thing drives. As I said, it's slow compared to the vehicle in special class. And you could get a much better vehicle, which is more visually appealing and much better performance. So why would you get this? It really depends on if you know about the car or if you just like it. And you really have to like this vehicle to actually buy this vehicle. I must say, if I didn't like it, or I didn't know anything about it, I would have sold it a long time ago. As I said, it's not the fastest of the entire tuners car, tuners pack. So yeah, there's no reason, there wouldn't be any reason to keep it other than I like it. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the video guys. If you do like it, get it. If you don't, I really advise you to stay away. It's not gonna sway you. It's not a vehicle to change your mind. So yeah. That's pretty much it for the video guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Will you get this? Let me know down below.